Hello everyone, welcome to weekvision.com and in this video I'll be telling you about the white balance. So we need to understand pretty much everything about the white balance so that you get the right colors in your image every single time you go there and capture images or the video. So before that it is really essential that we take a look at the white balance, what white balance has to offer. So I'll be not going into technical things because every consumer has to understand it in layman's term. Only then can you be able to use the auto white balance properly and the way it has to be used. So first thing we need to look at is uh, go to the menu options and there you will have several pages. Uh, whatever your camera be, right now I have the Canon ATD here and I have got several different options only dedicated to white balance settings. So if you are looking at this white balance here, it says several things like auto white priority. The name itself suggests that this is in the auto settings. That means the white balance is going to be decided automatically by the camera, but giving white as the priority. I will tell you later what that white priority is all about. First, let us look at the available presets and what they do. This is about the white priority. Then we have something called daylight that will give you approximately 50 to 100 Kelvin value. That is the temperature value. That means the lower the temperature value, say 5100, 5000, 4800, that way you go and the color changes to the bluish tones. So it won't be warmer side, but it will be on the cooler side. That is how the temperature changes. So it has several technical aspects related to that, but we are, like I said, we are not going to look at that. So let's go straight forward. Moving again, we have a shade. So whenever you are in some shade kind of environment, then that uh, will be set to 7000 kelvins. It will be on the warmer side. Uh, but then again, the clouds in the image will represent the cooler side of the image. That way it will uh, basically manage you giving the cooler side of the image along with the warmer side that you want in the shaded area uh, that's how it is then we have cloudy similarly we have tungsten light which is useful in indoor situations uh, we have got the white fluorescent light approximately at 4000 kelvin that is how your tube lights will be then we have the flash if you are going to use external or the inbuilt flash then you need to use this so that it will automatically determine that you are using flash and it will see what white color it has to look at. Then you have the custom thing. Pressing it again will give you the custom, uh, will be set to custom. Then you have to go to the custom white balance here. Then you can basically change the uh, for it in build or in the live mode only you can do it. So the last thing is the value you can give. So if you know the exact amount of uh, temperature that you have in the environment you are shooting images, then this will be really helpful. For example, if you have the meter and you know what Kelvin uh, temperature you are setting your camera in the environment, then you can basically set that directly, which is a nice little feature uh, you need to appreciate. So before, uh, now that we have looked into the menu settings right away, we will go to the live mode and see how it really works in the live situations. So this is Canon ATD and we are right now in live mode. That means I have got something, some objects in front of the camera and you are seeing it live on the camera. That way I can determine what custom white balance I need in the situation like this. Now if I look at the cup right away here that I have uh, in front of the camera, uh, this is kind of creamy color and not exactly white. And the plant you see there is a kind of light to dark green between light and dark I would say proper green that way what your eyes sees as the color the exact same thing you want in your image to be that is why we need to set the auto white balance or at least look at the auto white balance every time you click your image so that you won't have to process it after you have taken the image you can always do the post processing like in adobe photoshop or in lightroom or in other imaging software so you can basically adjust the auto white balance no matter when you have taken and at what conditions you have taken but before you actually post produce the image you can right away do that in your camera itself why post edit again the image so that's why in the live mode, if you are in live mode, you can see that because I have set it to custom white balance, it is showing me K. 
I can go ahead and press on the Q then go to this white balance setting here and as you can see it is giving me two options set color temperature that means I can determine what color temperature I want because this is in K mode that is what I have to set it manually and if I go back and press on this info button it will basically give me the graph that means you can literally change the white balance the way exactly you want or what your eyes is looking at the image and think this is the white balance so what your eyes represent that exact same color you want into the images or exactly what this cream color appear here the same thing you want in your picture as well that's the use of the custom white balancer so right now i'll go ahead and change that uh, k to other setting that is we have the presets right over here if i choose the auto white balance as white priority so the camera sensor will judge the white color as the priority and whenever it sees the white in your image it will basically determine the other colors based on the white color you have in front of the image sensor so changing the auto white balance to only auto white balance this is ambience priority that means the camera is going to decide based on the ambient colors and not just the white color so it will know that it has got several many other colors that it has to look for and then change accordingly so what i would like to do is uh, set to auto white balance to the white priority because if you if the camera thinks that there is a, absolute white color in the image only then can it determine other colors exactly uh, how the image has to be represented for example the green would be uh, pure green the cream would be pure cream color so not the changes you would see if you are usually doing with auto white balance at ambience priority so i would like to set that to white balance that is white priority always so going on to the info mode here uh, what you can do is if you still think that the image is not exactly what it has to be then you can basically move this to wherever you want and get the proper white balance set just like this if i move towards blue and magenta color so it will going to change the orange tint as well as the white tint color so if i take it to the green side the green would look more green and the white would be maintained because i have set to, towards blue going in on towards this side this is where you get the warmer side of the color to the image so uh, what i mean to say is you can literally set accordingly however how you want your image to look after you have captured it again i can set the range as well clicking on these one of these buttons would take you to the range so it will basically adjust from blue to the other side of the perspective of the warmer side so if i can i will change it to vertical position like this so it will take me from all the way from green color to blue to magenta so all these colors would be mixed and will give you exact how you want it to be so this is how you set the auto white balance in custom settings like you can see like you can literally see it in live mode how the image looks when you change the white balance manually if you don't want to mess it around just set it to auto white balance uh, to the white priority then the, let the camera will decide uh, what the image and what it has to set uh, to attain proper and exact image that you are looking for that is how you can set the white balance setting which actually plays a really importance while you capture images every single time so i i hope i have cleared you enough about the auto white balance and the custom white balance settings that you need to properly keep it up while capturing the image so if you have got any questions please leave it in comment a like and a subscribe will be uh, really appreciated thanks for watching and see you in another video bye bye